Hello and welcome to my tutorial on the CYK algorithm. The CYK algorithm is used to determine whether a word is part of a context-free grammar. Um, to do this, you need the context-free grammar in the Chomsky normal form. I'm not going to show you how to get this form, but I'll provide some links below the video to help you with that. So let's get started. Here you can see our word BBABAA. -A -A. And this is the um, grammar in the Chomsky normal form. So at first we go into the first row here and we try to match every single letter. So first we try to find B using these starting points. B can be found using B and nothing else. So we're gonna put in B. Same goes for here. A can be reached using A or VA. So we're going to put in A and VA. And again for the rest of the row. So now we're trying to find two letters. And we're comparing these two. BB is nowhere in here, so we're making a mark like a minus or whatever you like. Um, and move on. Now we're checking BA. BA or BVA. We have to check for both. BA can be reached using A and BVA can be reached using S. So we put in A and S. Now we're checking AB and VAB. AB can be reached using S and S1 and VAB is nowhere in here. So we just put in S and S1. And here it's the same as here before, so we can put in A and S. And the last one, AA, AVA, VAA or VAVA. And that's nowhere in here. So again, we're making our mark and then we're done because we've checked all these letters and there's nothing more to check here. So we can make another mark like blacking out this cell. And then we move on to the next row. Now, as you can guess, we're checking three letters, BBA. Now, there are two ways to do this. You could check this using this if we had found something here and this one. Or we check this and this one. So because we found nothing here, we only have to check B and A and B and S, because that's the only way we can reach these three letters. So BA is found using A and BS is nowhere in here. So we just put in A and then we move on. Here we can check A, B, S, B, which can be found using S and S1. And we also have to check B and S and B and S1. B and S1 can also be found using S, but we had that before, so you don't have to write it in twice. One time is enough. So we put in S and S1. Here we have S and A, S1 and A, S and VA, S1 and VA. So let's check that out. S1 and VA is found using B and the others are not in here. So we only put in B and move on to the last for this row. So we check AA, SA, AVA and SVA. Not in here. Now we can black out these two cells because we're done for this row. Good. Now it's time to check 4. As you may have noticed, the higher you move up, the more possibilities you have to reach these letters. So this time we can check these three and this one, these two and these two, or this one and these three. So let's start with AB. Can be reached using S 
an S1. Here we have nothing to check because we didn't find this one. And here we have BS and BS1, which is again S. And nothing else. So we put in S and S1. Now we're checking these four. Let's start with S1, VA. Let's reach using B. Um, S, A. There's nowhere in here, S1A is also nowhere in here, and SVA is also nowhere, nowhere here. So now we check A and A, not here, and AS or SA is also not here. And last thing we check is BB, but we already know that's not in here. So let's just put in B. And now we have the last four. B and A. Um, can be reached using A, B, V, A, can be reached using S. Here's nothing to check, and here's also nothing to check. So, A and S. And we're done for this row, and black this out here. Okay, we're nearly done. Now we have to check 5. So again, always the same thing. SA and S1A is not in here, but S1 and VA is in here using B. And that's it, so we can step down to A. We can check these three and these two. AA, AS is not in here. Now we check these two and these three. No. And B and B also not in here. So we only put in B. Okay, the last for this row, B A, A, and B V A, S. Then, nope. Also not possible, B A, B S is the only thing that's also possible, but it's not in here. So we only have A and S. And we're done with this row, and now the only thing left is the whole word, B, B, A, B, A, A. And to check that, we start with B, A, which is reached using A, and B, B, A, which is reached using S. So at this point, you can stop, because what this means is that we can reach this whole we can find this whole word starting with our start point s and that means this word is in the grammar so we're done can black out the rest and that's it thanks for watching i hope i could help you and if you have any further questions or suggestions please write a comment